We know that using video for our business is the way to go and smartphone video makes our content creation so easy. In this video I'm going to tell you how when you create one video a week made with your smartphone you'll never be stuck for content ideas again. You'll have your content working for you on every platform with no more overwhelm or wondering what the heck to post today. Also later in the video I'll tell you my number one strategy to get seen and how to drive traffic everywhere. Now I've been on my own business building journey and everything I tell you in these videos is what I've found that's helped me and I'm passing it on to you to help you build your business too. To get all of my tips make sure that you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video each week. So make one video per week with your smartphone and how do you choose the topic? Decide what are the content pillars for your business. These aren't set in stone and they may change as you go along on your journey but for me right now they are number one starting and growing a business. Number two, smartphone video content. Number three, social media. And number four, self-development and personal growth. These are all areas that I've done within my business, so I stick to those and make content on that. So I know that my weekly video will be something from one of these four pillars. And when you know the pillars of your business, this simplifies the process. So first, get clear on those. I would say that between three and six is a good number of pillars to have, but of course that totally depends on your niche. For instance, if yoga is your business, then your pillars may be number one, exercises, number two, nutrition, number three, meditation, and number four, equipment. You may have more, you may have less. You may want to add something like clothing or mindset work in there. Again, that all depends what you focus on. I choose my topic from my pillars, like this one is from a smartphone video and content mm. pillar. And then I choose my idea from whatever questions I'm being asked or problems that I see, maybe in groups, on social media, or that I'm personally asked. So I know that for a lot of people, knowing what to post on their channels on a daily basis creates a lot of frustration and overwhelm. So I thought I'd simplify it with this video. I then script my video, answering the questions and giving helpful information, and then I film. Now that I'm in a flow, it doesn't take me long to produce the videos themselves, because I like to keep things simple, no need to complicate the process at all, just get the filming done. And if you'd like to get started with smartphone video, grab my free download, 10 tips to filming video like a pro with your smartphone, to help you get going. The link's below in the description. Then, when I finish my video, I firstly post this on my YouTube channel. I make sure that I get as many eyeballs on it as I can in the first 48 hours of it being published and I do that by sending an email to my list and include the link to the video on there. I then use clips and images from the video to make teasers for my social media stories and my news feed, driving them to watch the full video on YouTube. You can also use pictures of yourself or Canva images to do the same thing, using the content from your videos to tease and getting people to watch. Mm. I also take quotes from my video to make images, tweets and memes, and that gives me more relative content for my social media platforms too. I then use the script from my video as the basis for my blog post, for my website, and I include the video in my blog too, and that's for those who prefer to watch than read when they land on my website. I also make a few different video pins for Pinterest, so watch this video here where I show you how to do it and the crazy numbers of traffic that I got. Depending on the format of your videos, you could also make the audio into a podcast quite easily. Interviews are great content for this and again, allowing you to be everywhere that your audience is without the stress. This may sound difficult, but I promise you, once you have a flow, it doesn't take you long. You could also outsource a lot of this at very little cost, which should help you get some of your time back. So from your one smartphone video, you now have at least 10 content ideas for the week. A video for YouTube, a video to use as Facebook ads, videos for workshops or courses, a blog post, IGTV, stories, your newsfeed, teasers, snippets, link back to your video, lots of social media posts relating to your video and content topic, quotes, tweets, memes from your video, Pinterest pins, and of course, turn it into an email. So you've got your email content. You've also got a podcast episode if that's the route that you want to go to. So this gives you the chance of being seen everywhere with organic and paid traffic if you wish, and being consistent creates trust, authority, and the algorithms love you. Now, my favourite strategy, as promised at the beginning of the video, to get my content seen and to grow my audience has been to join Facebook groups. Join Facebook groups from the niche that you're in, promote your content organically through those, and when it's allowed, they generally have certain days that you're allowed to do this, I splash my links to everything everywhere, to my website, my blog, my YouTube channel, Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, wherever, and this has been a really good strategy to grow my email list and get subscribers in a non-spammy way.
This also opens doors to collaboration, which reaches new audiences for you. And it's a great way to get your content out there. So ask in group admins for interviews, or if you can give your helpful content to their groups, it's always appreciated, but just remember that you have to give first. If you want to get started with tips on how to make smartphone videos, grab my free download below this video in the link and get going, and you'll soon have your content plan and you'll be seen everywhere. Check out these videos next on how to overcome self-doubt when you're putting your content out there and creating content that will attract your audience and grow your business. If you like this video, hit that like button and be sure to subscribe and share with your friends and I'll see you in the next video.